Also, you can happy for scale. For example, I want the scale for all. And here I can also apply for my scale for random scale. And the random scale also it's random. And I say use all num pt. So use all number of my points and I can multiply for example for five. It's a, a similar value. Or for example, you can also use the another kind of operation. For example, you can divide the, your pt num for uh, your uh, number points, but uh, is that is working also and here you can just change for example in this expression for the scale or for my uniform scale so you can uh, work in here I can up to one I can delete this for your uniform scale you can apply for example here is the scale and I don't want that Oh yes, I can keep also that. Okay. Scale all. Scale all. Uh, maybe I need to apply for example one. I can say one. And I can say the fit zero one is very fast to use that. And I say uh, zero point twenty five and one. I don't want to multiply this because my scale it's big, and I say. For 20. Okay, so now you can see there is a lot of uh, geometry, or you can divide it also if you want. Okay, you can see some is very small, and some is a few, a few big. But this is how to use, for example, the function inside. Houdini, okay, and also how to use the our stamp function inside Houdini. There is another way, for example, you can use also the vex, vex and vops. Vex and vops is very similar. Vex, what is the vex? We can create the attribute wrangle. Attribute wrangle here, you can uh, use the VEX, you can write, for example, the VEX for use your uh, scripting way for create uh, your variation. And also you can here, for example, you have, you can switch from H script to Python script, you can Python, or you can use the H script and the VEX script for uh, use your scripting. But there is also the attribute VOP. The attribute VOP is very nice to use because it's working on the points or on the primitives, vertex or number. And if you jump inside, you can see it's create here the network and you can jump inside, it's create the subnetwork and you can connect it, for example, with the import, import uh, from the geometry value, for example, position, velocity, force, age, some it's, uh, um, you, can, you can see some uh, immediately, like for example here, the PT num, and some you need to create before, for example, the velocity, you need to create the velocity when you work with particles, for example, and here the output, here the input, you can 
here work and you can connect it for the output. Now it's position and position it's the same. And in this way, now here in the middle, you can create another scheme for cooking your effects. For example, I can create the add and I say you take this import here, add this to this, for example, and the sum up, it's go out here. And now we, we don't care what I connected, but the concept is to take this two variable, two attributes, uh, two elements, you can call how do you want, but uh, you essentially is the attribute, you can take this uh, import here, it's cooking here, and you can go out here. And for example, you can create the difference scale, for example, for your control, your element here. And you can do that the same and also with using, for example, the copy. Okay, you can see that in very, very fast way. For example, I can keep here and put here. I'm doing that. For example, I can jump inside here the uh, attribute and I want to uh, take my ptnum for every ptnum because every ptnum because here you can jump back. Okay, you can see every point have the ptnum. I want to take this ptnum, I want to create the random so I can say random. You can connect this to this and you can create the random and you can go out for example the another attributes like for example the position the velocity the force the color or the normal or i can create my personal for create my personal i need to create uh, the export and the export is the bean bean the export okay and I can call this P scale. And, but before I need to say the range, for create the range, I can say click fit range, the value of my random, it's go out, it's that. But need also to have here the value for my destination. My destination mean and max. Here I see zero and one. I can promote these parameters for C here because here I don't see. And so I can use that. And I have two way for do that. One is create the parameter. And in parameter, for example, I can say my parameter is my minim minimum uh, scale. And I can say it's float or integer if you want. And I can connect this to this. Or another way is select and click on this for promote or with the middle mouse on this dot is a promote parameter. Is create this line. And if, if I click on this line, double click, you see it apply for me the parameters. Here I have the min scale and the dest max. If I come back, jump up, you can see the min and the maximum value in the dex. So what he say, he, he do? He take my value and just bring up here. You can go bring it inside and I can change, for example, that to max scale, okay? And can jump up. Now I create, if I go to see the information, here I have my P scale uh, float value, okay? In my P scale float value is the range from the min and from the max. I don't know why it's uh, not, ah, okay, because I change here, need to change also to the label. Hmm. Let's take control C, control V. And also here, Control C, Control V, for making sure. Okay. 
And here I have this attribute. Now, if I copy that here and assign like this, and for example, I can also copy that like this and come back, do it. Delete. Mm, no, I want to keep the also the stamp, but I want to change also that delete change. Okay, because I can use the mix way, the mix way with uh, I can use my variable here. Okay, so the stamp input, in, the stamp input. I want to use the stamp input for create the rotation. So if I go here and check this, I see the rotation is, but I see also is taking automatically the, the scale. Now we can see also that. I can delete from this node the variable for oh, that. Okay, I delete the variable number two. And here from attribute, I, I say use template point attribute. And what you do this option. This option is take all this attribute is create here, the color, the scale, and the P scale, for example. And it's transferred here. Okay, so if I go here, for example, I have the mean and the max, it's zero to one. If I change, for example, zero nine, I can change my maximum. I see with with the two slider, I can control my elements. Okay, random with this value. Also, I can delete some attribute. For example, I don't want uh, the attribute is the red attribute for the color. I can create the delete attribute and I can put here for example and I say hey my points you can delete the color and just delete the color okay or you can put for example here it's the same it's the same it's the same because this node when it is go out is a uh, stake the geometry like a point, okay? And this is uh, another way for create this, for example.